Hello everybody, thank you for joining me. This is Game God Fluent bringing you episode 16. Let's play Dragon Age Origins Ultimate Edition. Now in glorious 1080p with 8 times super sampling, anti-aliasing. Alright, so last time we quested around Lothering. Um, let's see. We've got the Thorn of the Gods. Um... I guess it would be time to head out if there's no new rumors. What can I get you in? Uh, anything else? Some hunters who range into the Brazilian forest say that a Dalish clan there has fallen to some kind of sickness. The blight, most likely, poor sods. Anything else I can get you? That's new. Any more? There's a nasty rumor going around that the Grey Wardens are evil and that they worship the Archdemon. <laughs> They're the ones that cause the blight. They were getting upset, see, that there was no use for them anymore. So they summoned up the Archdemon to do their bidding. <laughs> it would explain a great many things. Anything else I can get you? <laughs> I love this guy. I heard a strange rumor the other day. King Kalen was not really Merrick's son, you see. Merrick's real son is hidden in the bowels of Denerim's palace and has been since he was born. <laughs> I suppose they feed him cakes all day to keep him content. <laughs> Maybe he's simple. Or a mage. <laughs> Merrick's real son, a mage. Can you imagine? <laughs> Anything else I can get you? <laughs> I love this guy. There's talk that King Kalen was cheating on the Queen and she found out about it. That's why Tyr and Loghain abandoned Kalen at Ostagar. Anything else I can get you? Wow, these are all new. I've heard a rumor that the reason Queen Enora has never produced an heir is that she's barren. It's <laughs> a curse from the maker for bringing a commoner into the royal line. Until someone of royal blood is put on the throne, there will never be an heir. It seems the royal line of Kalinod has been broken for good now. Anything else I can get you? More rumors. I'm hearing many tales of corpses clawing out of their graves all over. <laughs> Not just people either, animals too. Just yesterday, a farmer told me about the kitten his daughter had buried behind his barn. Little thing came back to life and crawled up, mewling as loud as you please. <laughs> his daughter was delighted, at least until it just about chewed her finger off. <laughs> In these days, I tell you. Anything else I can get you? Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Nothing I can think of at the moment. Oh, wow. That guy is unreal. The rumors are just too much. <laughs> um, let me talk to him again. Make his blessings upon you, Warden. Okay. Uh, we could probably do with some more health poultices. <laughs> I can't get over those rumors. food to sell. Oh my gosh. Uh, health poultices are only 21. Oh, there's only one though. Can I buy it? Yeah, it goes away. Let's buy the three cheap ones. <laughs> uh, injury kits. We're going to have to use them at some point. Um... <laughs> Rock salve increases the user's armor and physical resistance, but decreases movement speed and attack speed. A salve of animal tallow that smells foul and is filled with tiny shards of rock. Incense of awareness. Lesser injury kit requires herbalism. Hmm, that might not be a bad idea to buy. Uh. Let's go ahead and buy that for 85. Now we're down to 82, so we should just save our money. Let's see if Morgan... What? What? Oh, she can make it. There we go. Um, She has improved uh, herbalism, looks like. Oh, we could have made lesser health poultices. We're short on flasks, though. All right, let's get out of here before that guy thinks of any more rumors to mystify us with. I'd wager all these elves are working with the Darkspawn. They'd gladly sell us down a river. You're probably right. 
<laughs> the rumor guy, the gossip guys. Um, hmm. Let's see. I think we've done everything we can do here. Thanks for the potuses. They may save some lives. And I think what we should go ahead and do is go deal with these dark spawn, which is probably going to trigger everybody leaving. But if I recall that correctly, I don't know. We'll go ahead and try it because I don't think there's really anything left for us here. Let's see what happens. Someone help us! Carlock hmm, Alpha. Okay, the sweep is useful when there's multiple enemies around. You get behind him and backstab. 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 There we go. Take care of this gen lock. Let me go ahead and backstab this herlock. Double backstabs. Oh. Oh, there's a lot of them. Alistair's okay. Okay, he's going after them. Go ahead and drink a small health poultice. And go after that herlock. Uh, me and Liliana are taking care of this herlock. Nice. Let me get behind this genlock and start backstabbing. Get some backstabs in here. There's a backstab for a kill. Get some more backstabs in. I love it. Oof. Oof. Genlock. Two silvers. Nice. Herlock. Lesser health poultice. Blood mage. A sealed letter. Maleficar regrets. It's 19 silvers on that herlock. Mighty timely arrival there, my friend. I'm much obliged. You're welcome. The name's Bodon Fedic, merchant and entrepreneur. This here is my son, Sandal. Say hello, my boy. Hello. Road's been mighty dangerous these days. Mind if I ask what brings you out here? Perhaps we're going the same way. Um, I doubt you want to travel with the Grey Warden. Grey Wardens? Hmm. My, that does rather explain a lot. No offense, but I suspect there's more excitement on your path than my boy and I can handle. Allow me to bid you farewell and good fortune, though. Goodbye. Now then, let's get this mess cleaned up, shall we? Hmm. Maybe I should have said to come along. Uh, studded helmet, small carved statuette, a small carving of a robed woman. Hmm. Sandal? We'll be off as soon as this mess is cleaned up. Thank you kindly for all your assistance. Nice fellows. What was down this day? The Banorn. Gather your party and venture forth. Huh, what is this? Oh? Oh, wait a minute. Bad dreams, huh? Alt F4. I don't want to go there yet. Sorry, guys. I had to crash it. Go ahead and light up a smoke. Um, that triggers some camping something. I want to make sure that we're completely done here.
Why would we head to the Banorn? I don't want to head out. We'll be off as soon as this mess is cleaned up. New Thank quest, Soldier's Peak. Premium content. Go to the party camp. The last time you traveled the open road, you caught a glimpse of a merchant in the distance. He appears to be following you if you set up camp. King's Confident journey to Ban Lorenz lands. There are rumors that a fellow survivor of Ostagar has escaped the prison of Ban Loran and is seeking aid of the Grey Wardens. The Ban's lines in the northwest region of the Banorn. The escaped prisoner is likely taking refuge in the deep woods of the estate. I don't know what that is about. Um, but if we bring up the map, that would be Banorn's lands. Okay. And Soldier's Pass. Travel to Orlay, Frostback Mountains, Red Cliff Village, Red Cliff Castle, Circle Tower, Lake Callanhead Docks, Ban Lawrence Lands, Brazilian Outskirts, Denarim. We don't want to head back this way. Okay, so we can head to Ban Lawrence Lands. Ah, I don't mean to click it. Soldiers Pass with the Brazilian outskirts. Huh. Party camp. Okay. Well, there's that done. But, um, hmm. Interesting, right? That's premium content. I don't know when to do what here, but um, just making sure there's nothing else. Oh, have we been up here? Uh, just a house on the hill. Pretty cool, the windmill. Let me go ahead. Oh, the landmark trees, if I recall correctly, you take your Mabari and mark that tree, and the Mabari then, well, Mugi, will then fight stronger in that area, whatever you fight. So that's that. Um, miner? Master Felleron runs us miners hard. Harder still since Ostagar. Huh. Anything over here hidden? No. Huh. Um. Miner? Master Felleron runs us miners hard. Harder still since Ostagar. Refugee girls. Refugee. Um, Allison, we can't make traps. A lean harvest and so many mouths to feed. Oh, we've done everything in the tavern. Maybe this place doesn't get overrun like I thought. I don't know. So, let me get this straight. You were a cloistered sister? You must have been a brother before you became a Templar. No? I never actually became a Templar. I was recruited into the Grey Wardens before I took my final vows. Do you ever regret leaving the Chantry? No, never. Do you? Yes. You may not believe it, but I found peace there. The kind of peace I've never known. It used to get so quiet at the monastery that I would start screaming until one of the brothers came running. <laughs> I would tell them that I was just checking. You never know, right? I... No, I never did anything like that. I enjoyed the quiet. Yeah, nice. Excel. The look on their face was always priceless. <laughs> I quite enjoy the quiet myself. Um, let's go ahead and check this merchant. Make sure we grab everything we can from don't him. Suppose you're looking to buy something. Although we should keep some All money right. for the road. Just don't buy everything up. Uh, we could probably sell some things. Maybe no. Studded helmet cured. Uh, I don't think anybody needs that. Right, so we can sell that for 10. Blood Dragon Plate. Mm. Tier 6. I don't know what we're doing with that, but that's a nice chunk of change if we ever decide to sell it. Okay, he's got health poultices. We have one gold. Um... We can make, well, we can't make too many of them. Does he have any flasks or anything? 
Concentrated Venom Recipe, Corruptor Agent. Uh, we could buy some more Death Root. And Concentrated Venom. No, we have the Death Root uh, thing. Swift Sav. Increase the user's movement and attack speed for a short time. All right, that appears to be everything. He's got scale, which I'm not interested in. And that is about it. The enchanter staff is interesting, very interesting, but I don't have four gold unless I sell the blood plate, which I don't think I'm going to do. Let's see Morgan. Oh boy, that's a good staff. Uh, Hers is tier 3, though, steel. This is just iron. It has some lesser stats, but it does add one magic, and then it adds a 10% spirit resist and the fire cold electricity 5% damage. Not worth 4 gold, in my opinion. Um, so there's that. The Templar. I'm just here to keep watch. The farmer and his dog. Hey. What's on now? Some questions. Can't promise I'm going to answer them. Um, I should go. Don't let me stop you. All right, that will do it for this area. I am pretty, uh, pretty sure it's time to move on. Let's go ahead and make a save here and call it 16 Lothering, just in case we have to come back or something, I don't know, just to have. Um, oh, we can't just exit that path and yeah. Okay, so we have to exit the Banorn lands, I guess. So Lothering was very nice, uh, very interesting place. I greatly enjoyed it. Let's check the Chanter's board one more time. There is nothing. We've been blessed by the revered mother. Yeah, there's really nothing else to do here, it seems. If there is, then perhaps I will end up missing it. But as far as I can see, there's just nothing to do. We've cleared the area. Um, we're going to go ahead and head to... I don't know where we're headed yet. We're just going to head out this exit. <clears throat> and uh, be on our way. Let's... Now let's save as 516 Lothering. F5 and bounce. All right, let's see what happens. Looks like a lot of dark spawn down there. That would be the Archdemon. We're at camp. <clears throat> Looks like I'm having bad dreams. Bad dreams, huh? Seems so real. Well, it is real. <laughs> you see, part of being a Grey Warden is being able to hear the Darkspawn. That's what your dream was, hearing them. <laughs> the Archdemon <laughs> talks to the Horde. And we feel it just as they do. That's why we know this is really a blight. Huh. The Archdemon, is that the dragon? I don't know if it's really a dragon, but it sure looks like one. But yes, that's the Archdemon. It takes a bit, but eventually you can block the dreams out. 
Some of the older Grey Wardens say they can understand the Archdemon a bit, but I sure can't. Huh. Anyhow, when I heard you thrashing around, I thought I should tell you. It was scary at first for me too. Thanks, Alistair. Thank you, Alistair. I appreciate it. That's what I'm here for. To deliver unpleasant news and witty one-liners. <laughs> Anyhow, you're up now, right? Let's pull up camp and get a move on. Alright, Alistair approves plus one. Party camp. All of your party's injuries are healed when you return to camp. Each party member can be found somewhere in the camp making an ideal location to hand out new equipment, give gifts, or talk. So we'll start with Alistair. What do you need? <clears throat> like to ask you something. Ask away. Uh, can you teach others to be a Templar? I suppose I could. But I really would rather not. When the Grand Cleric let Duncan recruit me, she made me swear never to reveal Templar secrets outside of the Chantry. I'd rather not go back on my word. Hmm. Very well, I'll respect your word. Ask me later, perhaps. Maybe I'll change my mind. This is not something small you're asking, after all. Huh. I'm not dumb. He... What do you need? Ask away. Um. Tell me about the Grey Wardens. Such as they are. Where are the nearest Grey Wardens from here? That's a good question. There's plenty in Orlais, but who knows where they might be found. And the nearest Orlesian city is weeks away. If we go north and cross the sea, there's bound to be some in the free marches. Again, however, I just don't know where. I don't know anything about Grey Wardens in other lands. Is there a headquarters somewhere? Here in Ferelden, there's our compound in Denerim at the palace, but that's it. Loghain will have control over that and be watching it, no doubt. Beyond that, the only place I know of is Weishaupt Fortress. That's the headquarters of all Grey Wardens in the Anderfels, a thousand miles from here. But I've no idea how to even contact them. So unless we try to get back to the compound in Denerim, I suppose the answer is no. There's nowhere for us to go. Huh. So what happens now if there's just two of us? I imagine that eventually the Grey Wardens outside of Ferelden will wonder what's happened. Why there's no contact from Duncan or someone. They'll send someone eventually. Though who knows what Loghain's people in Denerim will tell them. Maybe they won't send anyone. We could try to contact them. But that would mean leaving Ferelden. And even if we did, they couldn't come back with us in time to stop the blight. So that means whatever happens, it's up to us. Well... Will we need to start rebuilding the Order? I mean, eventually we would have to use the Joining to make more Grey Wardens, right? But I don't know how to do the Joining, or what's involved. I know it involves Lyrium and some other magic, and that it's really difficult to prepare, but that's it. Unless we can find out more about the Joining, I guess we better get used to the idea that there might only be two of us for now. Until more come from elsewhere. You know who what would happen if we just left? Just left? You mean just left for Elden? I don't know. If there's an archdemon, however, we're supposed to be the only ones who can defeat it. And that means the blight would grow unchecked. Eventually, other Grey Wardens in Orlay and other lands would hear about it and they would come to fight it, but they wouldn't come in time to save Ferelden. There's no way. I'm not going anywhere. Right. I have no more questions. About the Grey Wardens, anyhow. Fair enough. What do you need? Ask away. How did you become a Grey Warden? Same way you did. You drink some blood, you choke on it, and pass out. You haven't forgotten already, have you? <laughs> I mean, before that... Let's see. I was in the Chantry before. I trained for many years to become a Templar, in fact. That's where I learned most of my skills. You don't seem like the religious sort. You're telling me I was banished to the kitchens to scour the pots more times than I can count. And that's a lot. I, I can count pretty high. The Grand Cleric didn't want to let me go. Duncan was forced to conscript me, actually. And was she ever furious when he did? I thought she was going to have us both arrested. I was lucky. Huh. Um... 
think this is better than being a Templar? Oh, I suppose the Chantry life is good enough for some. Here, we have the chance to fight against the Blight. To actually do some good instead of sitting in a temple somewhere. I love a thankful to Duncan for recruiting me. If it hadn't been for him, you know, I would never... I wouldn't have. He was a good man. He was. A good man who didn't deserve his fate. That much I'm sure of. Come on, let's go. I think I'm done talking. Okay. Alistair approves plus one. Liliana, how are you doing? Yes. Uh, I'd like to talk. Well, here I am. Uh, this vision of yours. I knew this would come up sooner or later. I don't know how to explain, but I had a dream. In it, there was an impenetrable darkness. It was so dense, so real. And there was a noise, a terrible, ungodly noise. I stood on a peak and watched as the darkness consumed everything. And when the storm swallowed the last of the sun's light, I... I fell. And the darkness drew me in. What then? When I woke, I went to the Chantry's gardens, as I always do. But that day, the rose bush in the corner had flowered. Everyone knew that bush was dead. It was grey and twisted and gnarled, the ugliest thing you ever saw. But there it was, a single beautiful rose. It was as though the maker stretched out his hand to say, even in the midst of this darkness, there is hope and beauty. Have faith. Well... And this made you want to help me? In my dream, I fell. Or, or maybe I jumped. I'd do anything to stop the blight. I know that we can do it. There are so many good things in the Maker's world. How can I sit by while the blight devours everything? The Chantry says the Maker has left us. He's still here. I hear him in the wind and the waves. I feel him in the sunlight that warms my skin. I know what the Chantry says about the Maker, and what should I believe? What I feel in my heart, or what others tell me? Well, believe what feels right to you, Liliana. Thank you. It's nice to find someone who agrees. I know what I know, and no one will ever make that untrue. Hmm. She's very interesting. Um, let's talk a little more. Yes. Well, here I am. What was life like in the Chantry Cloister? Quiet. It was a life suited for contemplation. In the cloister, away from the fuss and the flurry of the cities, I found peace. And in that stillness, I could hear the Maker. But it was not perfect. Some of my Chantry fellows were condescending. That is the nature of religious folk, I suppose. Condescending, how so? When I talked about my beliefs, that the Maker reveals himself in the beauty of his world, they treated me with disdain. They want to believe that he's gone, so that when he turns his gaze on them, it means they are special, chosen. He cannot possibly have love for all, the sick and the weary, the beggars and the fools. Wow, this is amazing. I love this. What did you say to them? What can I say to them? What they believe is what the Chantry says, and the Chantry is infallible, yes? Maybe I am wrong. But it is the Maker's place to decide if I am worthy, not men, not the Chantry. But there is work to be done, and I have talked enough for now. I, um, in real life, really, uh, agree and respect those views. Oh, why, you little... What? What? Your furry friend here took offense at me getting near his food. He snapped at me. Look. <laughs> so 
hardly any blood drawn. Still, he shouldn't have. Winds and hangs his head. Sometimes I forget that he's a war dog. That'll teach me. <laughs> um, anything else I with Moogie? I once heard a really old legend about how the hound warriors in the days of the old tribes would feed their Mabari the flesh of the vanquished. <laughs> well, that's what I heard anyway. It would sometimes be human flesh. <laughs> Oh, like you can tell the difference. <laughs> For all you know, maybe you've already been fed something. Someone. <laughs> Don't listen to Alistair, he's full of rubbish. Hey! <laughs> Anything else with Moogie? Uh, look at what your fool dog placed in my pack. He wags his tail. A putrid, half-eaten hair is not something a woman wants to find in her unmentionable. <laughs> it's the thought that counts. He means well. The dirty mongrel can have this back. There. And tell him not to do it again. You heard the lady. I don't want it, you worthless fur bag. <laughs> oh. I think you heard his feelings. Oh, he's just trying to be manipulative. I can tell. I do it too. <laughs> uh, let's F5. Keep trying with Moogie. Low menacing growl. <laughs> Watch Sten and Moogie. You are a true warrior and worthy of respect. <laughs> oh, that's amazing too. Moogie digs fur furiously, furiously in the ground at your feet. Trying to find a way through the earth, are we? He goes back to digging. It's going to take some time, you know. Continues digging. Well, good luck with that then. Moogie ignores you and keeps digging. Huh. Is that it with Moogie? Cocks his head at you. Uh, pet Moogie. <laughs> he rolls around half. Oh. Love Moogie. Okay. Um. Levi. Dryden. Alistair. Liliana. Uh, let's go talk to Sten. Since he's right here. Yes. What were you doing in that cage? Sitting, as you observed. It's not what I meant. It's what you asked. Are you going to answer my question? I did. Parshera, was there anything else? Um, I have a question. I am hardly surprised. Why did you come to Ferelden? To answer a question. What was the question? The Arishok asked, what is the blight? By his curiosity, I am now here. What's an Arishok? The one who commands the Antam, the body of the Kunari. So he's your king? Kunari have no kings. What do you have then? Little patience for endless questions. Why would the Kunari care about the Blight? Why do you? Um, it could destroy the world. Do you think the Kunari live on some other world, then? 
Did you find the answer to his question? A portion of it. What was the answer? Were you not at Ostagar when the army was overwhelmed? That is your answer. So you have to report back then? Yes. So what are you still doing here then? I cannot go home. I'm sorry. Thank you. Can we move on? We keep the dark spawn waiting. Um, I wanted to discuss something you mentioned. Speak then. Mm, that's enough for now. Then I suggest we move on. Let's go. As you wish. Hmm. Stan disapproves. Minus two. Dang. Not good. Levi Dryden. You're a hard man to find. Where are my manners? The name is Levy. Levy Dryden. Levy. Did Duncan ever mention me? Levy of the coins. Levy the trader. You know Duncan? Oh, yes, for years. Considered him a friend, I did. But here I am carrying on while you have a blight to stop. Don't want to waste your time. But you see, Duncan promised that together we'd look into something important for the wardens. And for me. But poor Duncan's. Well, no more. A tragedy it is, but that. But I know he would want his work carried on. His pledge fulfilled. How did you know, Duncan? It's a bit of a tale, that is. But I'm the one who brought the Grey Wardens back to Ferelden. Well, I was one of the ones. There were a lot of us. Maker's breath, I'm a bit nervous. Honoured to be here, really. Go ahead and tell your tale. After King Marek freed us from the Orlesians, the Grey Wardens begged the King's permission to come into Ferelden. Some sort of internal business. Me and a mess of other Warden sympathizers spoke on behalf of your order. Tan Logain was very much against letting all Legion Wardens in the kingdom. But Marek, Andraste, bless him, was a fair-minded monarch and he let them in. Uh, go on, I'm listening. So that's why I was there when the Wardens and their leader, Genevieve, presented herself to the King. The first Wardens in Ferelden in over a century. Proudest state of me life, that was. Duncan was a bit of a scamp back then. We were of an age and struck up a friendship. Uh -huh. The king himself went with the wardens on their mysterious business. When he returned, he rescinded King Aldland's decree, and the wardens came back to Ferelden for good. Wow. I thank you for your part in bringing the wardens here. Oh, your stomach's all a flutter. You're welcome. What promise did Duncan make to you? Well, as you know, my family's name is Mud around noble circles. My great-great-grandmother, Sophia Dryden, was the last warden commander of Ferelden back when the wardens were known as freeloaders. So King Olin banished the wardens, and he took House Dryden's land and titles. What happened next? Hard to say. After King Olin died, there was a civil war, loads worse than this one, and our family was on the run. Hunted by enemies, with nary a friend in the world. But Dryden's are tough. We rebuilt, became merchants, and we never lost our pride. Surprised you kept your name. Our family's only crime was guarding the kingdom against the blight. We're not ashamed of that. So what favor did you ask of Duncan? I asked for the truth. My family reveres Sophia Dryden. We know she died at the old Grey Warden base, Soldier's Peak. We want evidence to clear her name. It won't restore our land or our titles, but it'll restore our honor. I've never even heard of so uh, can't, Couldn't you just go there by yourself? Well, no one's been to Soldier's Peak since Ireland's days. At least none that's come back. I spent years mapping the maze of tunnels to the peak, and I found the way a few years back. So I went to Duncan, I did, and I said that he could reclaim the old base and my family could have its honor. How will reclaiming the peak help the wardens? Soldiers peak a strategic and symbolic importance. Duncan said that it would be worth it right there. He also hoped to recover lost warden history and perhaps a few old relics. Wow. No one knows what's up there now. Interesting. 
Why didn't Duncan help you? Darkspawn surfaced in southern Ferelden, and Duncan got plenty busy recruiting new wardens and meeting with good King Caelan. Duncan said he would help after the Battle of Ostagar, said there might be useful things at the peak, but he never had the chance. Uh, what do you need for me? I can pick my way through the tunnels at the base of Soldier's Peak, but the place, well, they say it's haunted, and it'll be dangerous for certain. Will you think on it at least? Your family's faith will be rewarded. I will help you. A thousand blessings upon you, Warden. I'll mark down the location on your map. When you arrive, we'll pick our way through the tunnels together. Nifty. The history of the Drydens. Sophia Dryden. Ah, it's good to see you, my timely rescuer. Bodon Fedic, at your service once again. I saw your camp and thought to myself, what safer place to rest for the evening than in the camp of a Grey Warden? <laughs> I'm perfectly willing to offer you a fine discount for the inconvenience of our presence. How does that sound? Good? Yes? Um, have you been following us? I can see why you might be suspicious, being a Grey Warden and all. Were I in your shoes, I would feel the same way. Trust me when I say that my encountering you here was serendipity and nothing more. I travel a lot, so I'm bound to meet everyone on the road eventually. If you prefer, I'll take my boy and be on my way. But regretfully, you're the safest spot on this road, without a doubt. You're free to stay. Just mind yourselves. Wonderful. Thank the gentleman, won't you, boy? Thank you, sir. We won't be a bother to you and your companions, I assure you. If you should need enchantments, simply talk to my boy. Otherwise, come speak with me. Huh. Are you sure I can't interest you in this hat? A pair of earrings, perhaps? A cheese knife? Um... Have you heard any rumors? Alessa Isolde, the young Orlesian woman that married Arl Eamon. I hear tell she tried to poison her husband so she could marry his brother, Ben Tegan. <laughs> Make us honest truth. That's what I've heard on the road, anyhow. Take it for what it is. Uh, heard any other rumors? It's said the North Road Inn serves a shepherd's pie containing actual shepherds. <laughs> it seems the innkeeper has something against the flocks being brought too near his own fields. Oh, jeez. That's what I've heard on the road, anyhow. Take it for what it is. Uh, more, more. I don't know what to tell you. Nothing I can think of at the moment. Okay. Uh, wait a minute. You and your friends are formidable folk, indeed. It's good to have you along on the road. So what's your story, exactly? Hmm. I suppose since you told me about you being a Grey Warden, it's only fitting for me to be as open. I am originally from Orzammar, the famed dwarven city that lies beneath the stately Frostback Mountains. I was a merchant there, too. Merchant caste. These things are in the blood, you know. You can't just leave them behind. <laughs> I ran a fairly successful business. Rare artifacts, you know. Old things, grand things. The nobles loved them. Reminded them of the lost glory days, I suppose. <laughs> um, lost glory? Our kingdoms once spanned the length of Thados, from majestic Orzammar to Kalsharok to glittering Darmalin far to the west. They say the gold and silver veins ran so thick through the stone of Darmalin that the entire city sparkled. The uh. Dark Bun took it all, of course. One by one, the old tigers fell. And then all that was left was Orzammar. But we were talking about how I ended up here, weren't we? One day, a noble woman came to my store. She looked around for a bit and then started shrieking in dismay. Apparently, she believed that a pair of braces I had for sale once belonged to her brother. He'd been lost in a cave-in, you see, while on an expedition to clear out the darkspawn from one of the tunnels running close to the city. Wow. They were made specially for him. They're unique, she shrieked. <laughs> he stole them from my poor brother's corpse. She had me arrested on the spot, of course. Nobles, they're touchy like that. Wow. Um, and did you steal them? Well, I didn't steal them. You see, I, I had been paying these castless thugs to venture out into the deep roads for me. The Lost Tigs. They're full of things that people left behind. Sometimes you can find a treasure. 
something worth a little gold. Okay. Better to do something with them than leave them to rot. That's exactly how I see it. The noble woman, she wasn't too happy with the theft of her brother's braces. I don't know what they planned for me, and I didn't want to find out. <laughs> Bribed the guard that was watching me and took off for the surface first opportunity I got. Never looked back. Well. Fascinating story. Thank you. You're quite welcome. Now, is there anything the boy or I can get you? Um, you didn't mention your son in your tale. Ah, yes. I'm married to a fine woman back in Denerum, it's true. She'd give me a son if she could, but uh, that's not likely to ever be. Sandal here, I found him in the deep roads years ago. Abandoned, I think, and he was never quite right in the head. I took him in, <laughs> and I brought him with me when I came here to the surface. He may not be my blood, true, but I think of him as one. Oh. He left Orzammar. That's right, boy. Maybe one day we'll see it again. Oh, That was generous of you. It's not as if I don't benefit, mind you. Turns out the boys are natural working with enchantments. He might have even been leery addled. I never thought of that before, to be honest. Happens sometimes. Huh. He can work an enchantment into just about anything, however, given some time. Could probably open his own shop, if he knew how. Enchantment. <laughs> <laughs> well, he does seem to enjoy it, at least. Oh, this game is so freaking charming and good. Oh my gosh. But where did everyone have such an interesting story to tell? But where did these goods come from, not the deep roads? Look, we we don't rob people, all right? We don't take things from people that need them. The things in the Lord's tigers, what good did they do lying there? I brought them back to Orzammar where people could look at them and remember. It's not all that different up here. There are places long abandoned by the humans everywhere. Even more now with the Darkspawn coming. True. What People do you mean? flee from the blight with good reason, but they forget things. Things with value and meaning. They leave them behind because they're frightened and desperate. And sometimes, my boy and I, we find our way to these places before the Horde descends, and we save these things. I take them away so the dark spawn don't get them. Is that so bad? They destroy everything they touch. <laughs> Suppose it's better than having the dark spawn take it all. That's what I tell myself too. Ah, these are dark times indeed. Dark times, my friend. <laughs> uh, let me see your wares, Bodon. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected, and with your discount. Hmm. Okay. Odon's wares, um, plenty of distil distillation agents, tome of physical technique, a manuscript of physical art scribed by a master and rarely seen outside the most prestigious militias and guilds. Careful study grants the reader access to additional rogue or warrior talents. Use this tome to give the reader one point to spend on a talent or spell, but is rendered useless afterwards. Gives one reader to spend on a talent or spell, arcane technique. A tome researched by the Imperial Chantry, a Tevinter offshoot of the Andrastian religion that no longer persecutes magic users. The book grants insight into the fate, increasing the reader's knowledge of spells. Wow, look at this thing. The Vashel. Dragonbone, tier 7. Dang, it's worth 131 gold. It's a war axe, main hand, Sylvan Mercy. Oh, some of this we can almost afford. Plus 20. Mental resistance on conspirators foil. Sylvan's mercy, a two-handed staff. Interesting. Proving helm. One willpower, one constitution. And it's a heavy helmet. We can actually almost afford that. Blood dragon plate helmet, plus 10 health. Spirit hands, plus 10% spirit damage. Plus 5% critical back tam back. Stab damage. Nice. Angled strikers. <clears throat> Rough hide. I'm going to go ahead and buy them. Those are nifty. Blood dragon plate gauntlets. Bard's dancing shoes. Plus six defense. Reduces hostility. Drake skin. Tier seven. Imperial weavers. 
10% chance to dodge attacks. Wow, that's pretty major. Silver Hammer's Track Masters. Attack Masters, plus two dexterity. Uh, Blood Dragon, Plate Boots. Earth Heart's Portable Bulwark. Red Steel, Tier 5. Very nice piece. Collective Arming Cow, plus two Constitution. Cloth Helmet, Enchantress Arming Cat, plus one Willpower, 10 Mental Resistance. Cloth Helmet, Black Metal Torque. Nice. Mabari Collar, plus six Attack, plus six Armor. Okay, he's just got a ton of stuff. I'm not going to look at everything. Alistair doll. This little doll fashioned from rags and stuck with pins is eerily reminiscent of Alistair. King Merrick's shield. Two dogs rampant. Mark this shield for House of Therian. Bear scars from many battles. I can get these for free. Grey Worn and Ham puppet. Thoughtful Gift, Manual Ranger, Manual Templar, Backpack, the Manuals Unlock, those, get those, uh, classes, can we really take this stuff, Butterfly Sword, Chastity Belt, Uncrushable Pigeon, this pigeon coos happily, apparently comfortable in the knowledge that no force could ever crush it. <laughs> Scented soap, the chant of light unabridged. Let me go ahead and grab that. A luridly illustrated copy of Chantry Teachings, complete with a hundred page concordance and an overly simplistic collection of daily affirmations about how the chant can bring light into any life. And yeah, we get it for free. Ugly boots. Many insects died to make these iridescent boots. What a waste. Protective cone. A pearly white cone of unknown material attached to a dog collar. Looks like it would be uncomfortable to wear. Complete genealogy of the kings of Ferelden. Rare Antivan brandy. Amulet of memories. Canari prayers for the dead. Let's grab that. The words are in a strange spidery script, but the fine etchings demonstrate a clear respect for the departed. Pet rock, beard flask, Alistair doll, fat loot, stick. Let's grab the fat loot. <laughs> That's funny. Favorite of traveling bards, the fat body loot is a sturdy instrument with rich tone and a melodious sound. Grab that. Um, as for the actual gear... I mean, there's pendants and stuff we can grab, runes. Uh, different rings. Increases monetary gain. That's nifty. Dwarven Merchant's Belt. Stamina regen. Nature resist. Willpower. A lot of stuff, but it's worth 87. The Spell Ward. Very nice. Uh, but I think I'm going to go ahead and buy the Angled Strikers for 52. I'm going to buy them, and then I'm going to come down here and maybe grab that Dwarven Merchant Belt. Uh, but I have to sell something to get it. I guess mm, we're going to enchant the Darmisu, I suppose. Um... Let's go ahead and just sell the Templar shield, I guess. Alistair shield. How much is the... Belt? 93. We have 75. Fire crystal, fire resist, ice resist, seeker's circle. That's hard to give away and sell. Compare it to Liliana. She's getting reduced hostility and 10 physical resist. So we're just going to go ahead and sell this. And uh, let's buy the Dwarven Merchant's Belt. And that'll be it. Let's check our inventory. Um, I, I'll go ahead and wear this, the uh, Angled Strikers. Look very cool. Not getting my set bonus now, but it's okay. 
And the Dwarven Merchant's Belt increases monetary gain. I'm not worrying about, but we'll wear that. Cool. Now let's F5. I probably have been playing for over an hour. 55 minutes right on the dot. I'm going to save here. And next time we're going to talk to Sandal and Morgan and finish up the uh, camp. So thank you so much for watching, man. This game is so charming. Everyone has an interesting story. They're just around every corner. Every NPC, even a refugee you talk to, like they all have interesting stuff to say. It's really amazing. Uh, yeah, I really appreciate your viewership. I hope you're enjoying. Thank you so much for watching. Much love, peace, and joy, guys. Stay tuned. There's much more to come. Bye-bye.